Hey, how you doing? It's John from Kind of Magic. Hello! Christmas is coming up, so I thought I'd give you my opinions on what good Christmas ideas for magicians would be. Or if you're a magician, stuff you might want. Why you would care about my opinion on these items? I don't know. But for a beginner, good beginner set, we've got these uh, wonderful things from Melissa and Doug. Set up like a book, it folds into a book. It's called The Magician's Apprentice. And this has uh, tons of coin tricks in there, including a shell coin and scotch and soda, pen through coin and the folding coin. All together, these coins separately would cost you about $120, $130. We have this starter set here, 50 bucks. What a deal. It's a good introduction. Good thing to get kids started. Good beginner stuff. We have the same thing again, Magician's Apprentice, for cards this time. Uh, it comes with all the standard trick decks that you need when you're a fancy dancy magician like us. Uh, plus a cool extra, a couple extra tricks. Also 50 bucks, but uh, once again, great for the kids, for the beginning magician. Uh, for an intermediate type magician, I will give you my recommendation on this. You've heard from me on this before. It's the eye deck. It's a fabulous trick. I've been doing it whenever I perform. And it always gets great reactions, and I would highly suggest that you add this trick to your repertoire. Repertoire. I use the word repertoire. That's so freaking smart. This, uh, we just got in the other day. This is from Reed McClintock. It's called uh, Stars and Hexes. And what it is, it's an updated version of the old ashes on the palm trick. So instead of having the ashes appear on the spectator's uh, palm, a uh, little star will appear on their arm, and you can make it move around and do all sorts of fancy stuff. So street magic and um, that sort of thing is your cup of tea, then you might want to try out stars and hexes. Um, also, say this is intermediate or advanced? I'd say intermediate. I would say it's intermediate as well. This is uh, Glenn West's forgery. Glenn's a uh, regular here at the shop, and uh, we produce this trick right here in the beautiful city of Waterloo. Uh, is there a demo for this on the website? Uh, there is, if you look at... If you look up Forgery, forgery. on our website, kwmagic.com, um, you will see Glenn West perform this. What it is, is you have a spectator sign a card, and you sign a card, and then the signature you signed on the card moves to the other card, and it's wacky card signature. Well, how's it go, Phil? Explain it. The card, the, you, the spectator signs the wrong card. Spectator signs the wrong card. And then was. instantly the card changes to their card. Instantly and, and visually. Yeah? yeah, visually? You could, yeah. Check out the Excellent freaking card. demo and don't listen to me talk about it. Uh, also, this is more intermediate to advanced. Uh, if you're into mentalism and all that psychic type stuff, this is a perfect step to get you into it. It's uh, on book forever, now on DVD. Um, both will teach you pretty much everything you need to know about reading people's minds. It's Swami gimmicks all the way to billet switches and center tears and all that stuff. So the book's uh, $36. The DVD, is it six DVDs, $130. A little pricey, but uh, really is everything you need to know until you buy another book from us. Uh, there's a couple of other things. Here's another dude who comes into our store all the time, Romain, the monarch of manipulators. Uh, he does uh, card productions and billiard, bar, bill, bleh, billiard ball manipulation. And uh, he's quite fabulous. And uh, if you're lucky, when you're in town, you can see him here at our shop and he will pass on stories of Di Vernon and Marlowe and Cardini and uh, it's just a fountain of information. And, uh, you know, He's one of my friends and one of my uh, little magic heroes, so I thought I'd recommend this as well. If you want to get into uh, manipulation and producing card fans and uh, changing billiard ball colors and all sorts of stuff, this is the way to go. What else? Uh, intermediate, beginner to intermediate magicians, you know, people just starting out who are just, you know, getting past the trick deck sort of stage. We have, um, the, this series is one I recommend to everybody. It's the Michael Admar Easy to Master Card Miracles. Some of the best card tricks you can find. Uh, all caught into one series of DVDs. I think there's nine different DVDs. Uh, but the wealth of material that you get from them is just incredible. And they go to the best magicians, get their permission to use their tricks, and then Mike Lamar is a pretty good teacher. Sort of like watching an infomercial, but he's a pretty good teacher of magic, so uh, I would recommend these. Uh, if you're uh, 
looking for stocking stuffers and stuff like that. We have lots of uh, DVDs that teach you how to do balloon twisting or juggling or any other sort of circus art or performance art. We can pretty much steer you in the right direction. We got balloons and pumps and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we also have all sorts of novelties, itching powder and lollipops that make you fart and all sorts of crazy stuff here at Kind of Magic. And we just got in, uh, well not just got in, a couple months ago, a whack load of these great yo-yos. They're uh, called high performance yo-yos. We have so many different kinds. Look on the website and you can see them. Uh, I like them for stocking stuffers because they also come with a DVD in the back that teaches you 150 wacky tricks you can do with the yo-yo. And finally, if you are a magician for a long time like me, uh, what I would appreciate maybe is uh, more of a showpiece item. And uh, we do carry a full line of Makame products. This is the, uh, what is this one called? It's the something cabinet. It's, it is. A, a genie tube. Genie tube. It's a genie tube. Thank you. Genie tube, it's empty genie tube, and you wave your magic hand, and anytime you want, you can produce. Oh, isn't that pretty? And you show the tube empty, and you can see that it's empty. And then you wave your magic hand, and oh, anytime, well, Almost any time you want, you can get that. But these are uh, all very, very high quality. Um, they're probably handmade. It looks handmade. It's not machine driven. And we have a whole supply of them, a whole uh, line of them. So if you look on the website under Makami, you get some really good, really good, really good stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, all the best for the holidays. I'm sure I'll blog again before that. I feel a blog coming on now. Um, but uh, this is John from Kind of Magic saying... Bye. Hey, I forgot to tell you about these things. If you got little kids or if you have a dirty mind, we also sell puppets. Uh, we have firemen and police officers and monkeys and tigers and lions and cheerleaders. Oh, sorry, cheerleaders and pirates. I don't know why we have pirates, but we have pirates and they're cheap. They're twenty-two ninety-five. And then we also have these ones, which are make your own puppets. So. You can have a princess and then you can change her hair and her outfit and her lovely accessories, which is the one I would choose. Or the monster, which you can have, ooh, scary googly eyes. Anyways, John, Kind of Magic, blog out.